Malaysia's 1MDB is under intense scrutiny as investigators look into the troubled state investment fund. The country's Prime Minister Najib Razak is trying to contain the fallout from the investigations linking him to 1MDB. Here are five things you need to know about the 1MDB probe. Number one, why is Prime Minister Najib under scrutiny? Investigators looking into 1MDB have traced nearly $700 million of deposits into bank accounts that they believe are Prime Minister Najib's personal accounts. The Prime Minister denies taking any money for personal gain. Number two, why did Prime Minister Najib shake up his cabinet? Five ministers were dismissed by Mr. Najib, including his deputy, after the deputy publicly raised questions about the decision to shut down two local newspapers for reporting on 1MDB. Number three, why were the two newspapers shut down? The Edge Weekly and the Edge Financial Daily, owned by the same group, were shut down for reporting deemed to be prejudicial to public order. The Edge Media Group said it will launch a court challenge. Number four, has anyone been charged with a crime? Authorities have detained five people related to the probe, but none have been identified or charged. Joe Lowe, a young Malaysian financier tied to the fund, has also been summoned by Parliament. Mr. Lowe has previously denied wrongdoing. Number five, what lies ahead for Parliament's probe? Hearings into 1MDB have been halted after four members of the committee leading the hearings were appointed to the Prime Minister's Cabinet. New members will be appointed in October to continue the probe. Stay tuned for the Wall Street Journal's continuing coverage of the political crisis in Malaysia.